Let's take a look at the boiling point for H2O and H2S. We have water and hydrogen sulfide, and we're interested in what the difference in their boiling points would be and why. First off, they both have the same Lewis structure. If you look at them, they are the same identical structures, except we have oxygen here and then sulfur here. That's because oxygen and sulfur, they're in the same group on the periodic table. Sulfur is just below oxygen. So we have the same Lewis structure. That means we'll have the same molecular geometry. Let's take a look at that for a second. So you can imagine that this purple here, this would be the sulfur or the oxygen atom. Either way, since it's the same structure. So we have two hydrogen atoms attached to our central atom. One, two, they spread out, push away as far as they can from each other. And then we have those two lone pairs. And they're important because they occupy space. So we add one, and you see it pushes those hydrogens down. We add the other one. And now we have what's called a bent molecular geometry. And that's because these lone pairs are pushing the hydrogen atoms down away from the oxygen, or in the case of hydrogen sulfide, away from the sulfur. So we have a bent molecular geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So same Lewis structure, same molecular geometry. What's different is the electronegativity on the oxygen and the sulfur. So if we go to the periodic table, we look up values for electronegativity, Here's oxygen, 3.44, and right below it is sulfur, 2.58. So oxygen is more electronegative than the sulfur. That means these bonds here between the hydrogens, the electrons are going to spend more time with the more electronegative element. In this case, oxygen, they'll be more with oxygen than they would be attracted to the sulfur. Because of that, water is a more polar molecule, and water molecules are going to be attracted to each other through hydrogen bonding here, so they're going to stick together. That means that water is going to have a higher boiling point. Let's take a look at the polarity for each of these molecules. So here's a water molecule, the red's the oxygen, white hydrogen, and you can see the bent molecular geometry. If we looked at the polarity, that would look like this. So the red, that's more negative, and then the blue, that's more positive. So water is a very polar molecule. We have the negative side around the oxygen and then the positive for the hydrogens. That's why we have hydrogen bonding. Water molecules, they're attracted to each other. For hydrogen sulfide, we still have a polar molecule. That's because the sulfur, it's more electronegative than the hydrogens. But now it's not quite as polar. We kind of have this greenish yellow down the middle, but we still have the red and the blue. It's just not as polar, so even though these hydrogen sulfide molecules will be attracted to each other, it won't be as strongly. Because of that, the boiling point is going to be much lower. It'll take much less energy to make it boil. So to recap, water is going to have a higher boiling point because water molecules are attracted to each other through hydrogen bonding, where this hydrogen sulfide, not as much of an attraction between the molecules, lower boiling point. This is Dr. B looking at the difference in boiling point between water and hydrogen sulfide, H2S and H2O. Thanks for watching.